<laughs> you unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. I gotta get the fuck out of there. And my reason for this, my reason is for one that you may share, possibly. I have a very low tolerance level for stupid bullshit. We don't want no, 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 we don't want no bullshit around us. No bullshit around us. No bullshit around us. No bullshit around us. Drink the drink. I don't want the drink. He doesn't want the drink. He does. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. I don't. You don't. I do. You don't. I do. You don't. I haven't got time for this Mickey Mouse bullshit! Caution, you are about to enter the no bullshit zone. Factor begins right now. But ladies and gentlemen, that's right. No fucks given radio. No fucks given. Wait, this ain't the no fucks. God damn it, man. I fucked up. I fucked. I, I, I fucked up. I, I, guys, I fucked up. Right off the bat. I tried to intro the long, the wrong motherfucking show. I really fucking did. That's, that's a bitch. But hey, like Nitty said, that's right. Because this is no fuck skipping radio, ladies and gentlemen. That official radio for all y'all who just don't be giving a fuck, man. And this is the no bullshit zone with myself, Frank Nitty, Poke Frost in the fucking house. Yeah, and man, you know. I know we said we was going to do this a little while ago, but, you know, honestly, gentlemen, sometimes, whether it's life or music, we all know shit gets in the way, right? But, right, Pope, right, right. Yeah. I know you had a very specific topic you wanted to go into on this particular episode of the No Bullshit is on. So, fuck it. Based on the topic, let's just dive right into it. It's just going to take a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's what we want to talk about, you know, the rap that is going on, and, you know. Music. Now, there's a lot of bullshit out here in the music game, man. Like, now, and I, I will say, I want to throw my perspective in on this real quick, gentlemen, because obviously I have the by far most short lived career so far between the three of us. Mm-hmm. Being that you guys are fucking, you know, 20 plus years, and I'm not even at five. Uh, <laughs> 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 you know. But I agree with you, Poke. In in my short time within this, oh my god, dude, it's the amount of bullshit and and backstabbery and and fucking other people over that you see. It is, it's amazing, right? And this is again, this is just from my perspective of a fucking what two years I think in this shit really, as far as on stage and doing the radio and everything. So you two. What stories do you guys have of that? I'm curious. And I mean, and the current situation, because you guys seen all that bullshit evolve. I mean, like the game, it's like you know, you get a lot of people that you know, what I'm saying that be in it. Hearts don't really be in it. Don't really know stuff like that, man. Then, but they try to, you know, I don't know, man. This is just a bunch of crazy mess that goes on, man. Then, like the music that's being made, you know, you, you get a lot of people that's getting, you know. Pretty much high accolades. I'm gonna use that for music that you know don't be worth worth the time, man. And don't be good music, man. Then you get people that's putting out good music, they'll you know, get the short end of it or whatever, you know. Hey, I will say though, I know because um, there's all kinds of beef, and I'm assuming you're referring more to the, like the little yachty and a little what is little Uzi Vert. I think I think I have his name right. Who? Cool. Yeah. Lil Uzi Vert, yeah, see, yeah, oh my god. Poke, if you don't know, don't look him up. Little Uzi Vert. Uh, Little Uzi Vert? Uh, Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, you can go on all all, all day about it, no fan. Those guys, man, but you know, I don't knock nobody hustle what they doing, you know, getting money, they getting it, you know. That's cool, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm mad at no fan. No, here's but. Here's the thing, though, Poke. Do you really think it's their hustle that's accomplishing what they've done? No. I mean, <laughs> their, their, their music is, you know what I'm saying, is, is really, is like, to me, it's hurting the game. Because, I mean, you know, you got these, these different crowds now, you know what I'm saying, like these young crowds, man, they, they like that type of music, man. The music that don't really say nothing. You know what I'm saying? And, like I, I was watching the DMAs last night a little bit. I caught Kendrick Lamar 
Like, he, he opened up his VMAs or whatever, man. Like, he put on a performance, man. I don't know if y'all, if y'all seen it or not, but no. he put on a performance, man. And that's what yeah. we need in the game, man. Like, dudes like him, man. And, and, you know, like, whether it's the underground or over, mainstream, whatever it is, man. Dudes that's talking about something. See, that's like, uh, and I, I, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was either Little Uzi Bird or Little Yachty. Who I seen in an interview. Oh yeah, the boat. Yeah. Well, this motherfucker. God, I, I found this so offensive. Even as someone that is so new to writing fucking rhymes, Jesus Christ! If it is your goal to say the word "yeah" ninety times in a track, yeah, then just quit. Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> think about that, dude. Think about like if you wrote a track, right? And you write it, and then you go back and you count, and it's like, oh, shit, I only said yeah 80 times. I need to add in 10 more yeah. I swear to God, I heard this motherfucker say that. Say he would take out words to add in the word yeah. I'm like, are you fucking kidding yeah. me? See, that's because they don't, they don't have nothing to write. They ain't, ain't, you know what I'm saying? They don't have and ain't there, man. They, it, you know, it, it's not, it's not, it's, they don't have love for the game, man. Like you know, like us, we've been doing it for twenty some years, man. It's like when we when we write, it's like we we going, you know what I'm saying, from the heart, you know, from the gut, best that we can. But artists like that are going there, just take two or three minutes just to write gas yeah, through the whole verse. Okay. Oh, Get hit. But but think about the fact, and Nitty, I want to know your opinion of this. Like, if you write it, like, say you write a track, like, how could you go back and be like, I need to use the word yeah more? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you think if if, if, it's, if it's still being a hit, then you know it's just telling you that the audience is dumbing down. That's all it's doing. Mm-hmm. You, gotta think, you gotta think about this new like this generation. Even like you know, so you start from the starter rap to to when our generation, my generation, was like in the eighties, nineties. You know, what I'm saying now, you know, get up to this generation. You know, back then, you know, rap was off the ground. It's just trying to just get off the ground. You know. And you know it was a lot more, a lot more lyricists. Then it started to change where it was dance music and gangster rap. And now, you know, for the generation, this is what they, this is what they, you know, they know. You know, they go, they, 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 they popularize getting high and everything else, and all, and all this crazy stuff and shooting up and all this. That's why I think that we get the generation that we got right now. Because they they know that this is the music they need to to, to put out to sell. Everybody you know doing drugs, they thinking all that's cool, and, and you know, and and play a dope beat with a bunch of just words, mumble words, just throw it out there. But you get a nice beat with it, people are not gonna understand what really what they're saying today if they until they stop and think like, this is what they say, come on, put the finger in my ass or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Just be crazy, like you know, you got you got to but you know, as 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 as, as you know, even when you look at it. You know, like 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 Chris said, like I ain't you know not knocking nobody hustle. So you know, if that's if that's what works for them, then you know I can't. I mean, I can say you know too much. You know, it's, it's more or less not even them. It's the dumbing down of the audience they go on board. So it's hard to really to really blame them. See, but no, man, and and maybe this is where I I fucking am a jackass. Whatever. If that's the case, that's fine. I don't give a fuck. I'll be the jackass. I really will. But isn't art supposed to be about educating motherfuckers? Yeah, art. You know, not, not all art. Well, because at least yeah. I think, think making. It. Well, no, not a lot okay. of art is uh, entertainment. Yeah, fair enough. Not yeah. necessarily, but it's supposed to be thought provoking, right? It's not supposed to. It's not supposed to fucking dumb down your mind. It's the most. It's supposed to make you fucking think. You know, and I could. Yeah. I would say that about most great films, even. But but, but you still got to look at it like this. Most of it is like entertainment, man. More than anything. Everybody, it's a dance, you know, it's a dance, it's a dance thing, it's party time. You know, this this generation has done more partying than a, than a little bit. So uh-huh. most of their whole thing is partying. So what do people do? They make a great beat and throw whatever the word they want on there. As long as it glamorizes them using drill popping zannies or, you know, doing lean and this and that and acting crazy in the club or doing this or shooting up this with all these type of guns and crazy shit like that, then it's, then it, you know, that's what goes with them. 
know what I'm saying? That's that's because you got to look at the market they targeting. It ain't so much a, a music. You think about this, like say you going in, like you going into rap, and like you know we want to go in, we might want to, you know, we want to put some message out here, the problem in the hood, or the problem this, problem that. Okay, we can do that as much as possible, but to this generation, that's not what they're shooting. That's not that's not their that's not what they think. So it would be it's ludicrous to, to to do it because they're not listening. They're listening to the man who's telling them to buy more drugs and do this and this and, this, and you know Molly Percocet, all this other. You know what I'm saying? That's, you do. Man. That's the audience. Why you think the music is like it is? That's the audience. That that's the audience that 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 that's, that's moving their music right now. So, so wait, if you want to have a successful, you got to target the audience. Audience. I have a theory. I have a theory. Let me let me know what you guys think of it. We get all the hosts over here on NFGR because because I'd like to say that all the hosts over. Well, I can't say all the hosts. All the hosts that are MCs over here on NFGR because there's a couple ladies and gentlemen that are not that aren't, but most of them are. But get all the uh, MCs over here on NFGR to do a track, right? But let, like let's do some mumble rap shit, all of us, and then we blow all of us up, and people will actually maybe go listen to the shit that we made that's good. Fuck. You know, I don't. You know what? I don't really know. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even know, you know, how the mumble mumble rap thing goes. <laughs> I really don't. I don't know what people mean when they say like mumble rap. Like, what is it? Like, what they're saying? like. But my thing is just this. Like, you know, it's beat. I just write what I feel. You know, if we come up with the title first, and then I write what I feel. You know what I'm saying? It's not where you know if if. If at the time I'm in a bad mood, I could be more in attack mode. Or if you know, if I'm in a happy mood, I could write more jolly and party stuff. Like you know, we don't roll stuff. We don't roll all different types of stuff. You know, party stuff. You know, oh yeah. You know, uh, uh, struggling stuff. Um, you know, I kind of think we kind of we kind of reflect like from our environment. And sometimes we write off emotion. So you know, emotions change by the minute. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and oh yeah. We, so what what it is with them? You think like most of them mugs they write and they be high as a kite, smoking weed, <laughs> pills, or whatever, whatever it is. They be high as a kite, so they write what they feel at the time, which is yeah, that's <laughs> all, all they can come up with because he probably was so high. You see what I'm saying? And and you know as stupid as we think it sounds, he's still selling records. Hey, oh, wait, bro, I gotta ask you, Poke. Poke. So Nitty says he can't even write a mumble rap. Which look, real quick, Nitty, before I go any farther, I understand. Because I have tried to take a beat and be like, I'm gonna see if I can just kinda do what those fucks do to this shit. And no, I can't. I use actual words. I don't know how the fuck they do that. I don't. I'm like, how the fuck do you not use words, man? Don't you the fuck you know what the one English dude, is? Uh, the one dude designer, he's the one considered as the main mumble mumble rapper. You know what with that panda had that panda song. Oh Jesus! Yeah, but you, like, you know what? Dead, but it's humble. Because like, but if you like, have you ever really ever, ever got the words that he was saying in there? Have you ever listened to it and got the and really? Yeah, got the yeah. You listen to him. Yeah, you listen to what he's saying. <clears throat> make, it make, it make it make sense. Yeah, he got a little but story. Like, you got to like, decipher that. But see, mm -hmm. but what 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 distracts you from what he's saying? The beat. The beat was so hard. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. He got one more rule out there. Panda. Yeah. Panda. 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 Like, you know what I'm saying? You think like panda. But the beat's <laughs> catchy. You can scream panda, panda, panda. Think about this. Remember our era, remember uh Luke come out with doo doo brown. Right. Think about it. Yeah, motherfuckers running around talking about doo doo brown though. Dope beat, <laughs> nice dance tune. And motherfuckers ain't thinking about no damn doo doo brown. What what actually he's saying is it's a dope ass it's a your dance track your dance the party yeah. So they can say what they want And then motherfuckers Are still repeating And, and, and they motherfuckers be here and They can be like Yeah well, they can Motherfuckers repeat We crackheads We crackheads The motherfuckers Stop uh, saying we crackheads <laughs> You know what I'm saying Just because that's what They tell them to say And the beat is dope And they all off in the zone Like them motherfuckers When they're right What motherfuckers Starting to do now And I think it's kind of How we all did it But I think As the era has changed We're going to see Difference I think motherfuckers was Like when in our era We wrote our, how our era went And then now This era likes to get high So When motherfuckers Start to get high And they write their shit Motherfuckers relate to them Who get high So when they hear that shit They be like Oh that's It makes sense Because It, it goes straight to Their brains Go straight Straight to life Cause they getting high too And them motherfuckers get, They get high When they wrote it Yeah a whole track And motherfuckers feel it 
same height, the motherfuckers as high as them. You know nah. what I'm saying? Nah, because see, same wavelength uh, as far fuck as that. and that's yeah, just fuck this that. generation. Like, yeah, fuck that. Got out of control. They it, they it, be it, doing oh see but they be doing like dumb shit, Nitty. Like look, that's why like sincerely back when you guys started, think about the heroin overdoses you guys seen back when you guys started as opposed to the ones you see nowadays. Holy fucking shit! I mean, my second show was a benefit for someone that OD'd. Think about heroin overdoses wasn't even back like this. You know, heroin wasn't even that big of a drug back then. It was crack cocaine was a drug back then. So you know what I'm saying? Heroin wasn't even a drug like like that. I don't even, I don't even know how how hard heroin was on the scene even at that time. But you know, at least in our neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? The regular thing was crack cocaine. So mm-hmm. wasn't that many heroin overdoses? You know, now you have a lot more. You know, you have a lot more heroin overdoses because heroin is is, is, is in right now. So I mean, that comes with with, with the era. No, look. I'll tell this is this is from the unknown factor real quick for everyone out there listening ladies and gentlemen no one else's opinion if you really want to leave this fucking world for a moment like if shit's really that goddamn terrible for you look Pokes giggling because he knows what the fuck I'm about to say I love right. it he is he's like I know where this motherfucker's about to go right. bro there is this drug that's produced in your pineal gland right that's in your brain ladies and gentlemen it's called DMT I don't know what the fuck it's actually called that's the abbreviation I'm I don't know Latin and I'm not a physicist so I'm not pronouncing the actual name but go find some of it legitimately from somebody and smoke it all right it will change your perspective of reality and it won't kill you motherfucker like heroin or crack or all the other dumb shit you do or better yet just go roll up a fat fucking spliff and smoke it Jesus Christ what the fuck is wrong with people y'all right People having uh, their own way they choose to get high. Um, you know, like you might smoke weed. Next motherfucker might smoke cocaine. Next motherfucker might smoke dope. Motherfucker might pop pills. Motherfucker might drink. You know See. I'm a firm believer, though, and this is just my opinion. I don't know, like, if it comes actually from the earth, like, if it's something you can find naturally within the earth, then I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's, it's probably pretty cool. But look, if you got to go into a fucking lab and do 30,000 30, different things to it with 30,000 different chemicals, then I don't want to fuck with it. I don't. Y'all put too much shit that wasn't just there to begin with, and I don't know what the fuck it is, but leave me alone with it, right? I want the shit that, like, like I'll do some shrooms for real, because you can straight find that shit in nature, as well as peyote, weed. These are all things that you can find naturally. The, the earth creates this shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, uh, like, uh, if, if you think about this, have you ever smoked some weed? You've been hiding a motherfucker. I plead the fifth. No, I'm just kidding, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm asking you for the reason of, uh, like, doesn't it doesn't it kind of impair your your judgment at, at times? Uh, Nitty, you really want me to get into my particular perspective of this because I guarantee it's unique. It's just a regular, I mean, just a regular question, like, well, I see, I like this. It, but no, 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 like but this. look, Nitty, Nitty, you're asking a regular question to my ass, which means you're not going to get a regular answer. Because <laughs> yeah, you know what? I don't think that people smoke so much weed and they be just blown. And then they still mm-hmm. get behind the wheel of a car. And tell me what's different from that than doing alcohol. Your, your judgment, the your judgment, your, off, your, your judgment's off a little bit. You still hear it's in the cloud. Just as much as you do alcohol, but because you, 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 you're driving under the influence of something that doesn't have you in your right mind. You see what I'm saying? I'm just saying some people have, they have to be cautious of the moves that they, they that they make, even if they're just smoking weed. And you think like you get to smoke weed, and then say you high as hell. I don't see motherfuckers be. I'm talking about out their mind. They be looking like they in another world. And they still they get behind the camera with a little car, and then you know, not as many weed related accidents are reported like they do alcohol. But 
I, I, I'm willing to bet you, like, if you if you really started looking at some of the some of the some of the drivers, especially in our inner city, and, and it'd be regular accidents or something, that somewhere they had something to do. The thing is, is that if it impairs your mind to do do something, then it, it, then you shouldn't smoke and drive. You see what I'm saying? Fair enough. Now I, I see your point. Now my counterpoint to your point, though, Nitty, is that. You know, everything affects people on a different level because everybody has a different body chemistry. Therefore, what you put in your body at a chemical level is going to affect your shit differently because, well, everyone's fucking different. There's a reason they say people have chemical imbalances in the brain because it's true, you know? So certain chemicals, again, will affect certain people differently. Like, I know people that can drink three fucking pitches of beer, no problem, and then go walking out the door fine, get in a car and drive straight line. You drink me, and if I drink three pitchers of beer, I'm not moving. Um, you leave me the fuck alone, and, and just give me a waste basket. That's all I need. Is like if I drink three pitchers of beer, just sit a waste ba- basket next to me and leave me alone, or I might stab you because I am not feeling well at that moment at all. Yeah. <laughs> at the same time, like I, I would assume, you two gentlemen, if we sat down and smoked three blunts, I'm gonna be in way better driving condition than you two. Oh no. Oh, oh, Nitty said, I don't know. Oh, shit. You know, I'm going to be up in Flint sometime soon, Nitty. I'm going to put that shit to the test. <laughs> you smoke three good killer blunts. You know what I'm saying? You could be a little impaired. You know what I'm saying? You could be a little impaired. But even even if that, it's like, it's like me. I have, I have done had, you know, some liquor. And sometimes I've been straight driving home. And sometimes I've been fucked up. And then I was like, God, take the wheel. And I just came down the highway 70 straight down the middle. You hear me? Whew. One side, set of tires on one side of the line, the other set on the other side. Flying. God willing, I made it home safe. But I mean, I'm talking about fucked up. The thing is that, that, that anything that impairs you from, 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 from your business being regular. Could, you know, it, 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 if it impairs you, it, you know, you have to question, you know, your ability to step behind a wheel or, or something like that. Because you think, like, how you are, like, on a regular basis, and then when you smoke weed or you drink or whatever, some people get more hostile, some people more calmer, some people more, you know, it's depending on the person. Now, some people, they get them lean, they pop zannies and stuff, fall asleep and all that other crazy stuff, you know, that's, that's you know, they preference. You know, but it, I mean, I, I just think, like, every, like, everything has a, has its effect though. You depend on you know what you do. You know, sometimes we smoke calm people down. Oh yeah, dude. It by far makes me less homicidal. I'll I'll totally say that much <laughs> on air live. I don't get. I mean, for real, it does, dude. It, it's yeah. one of the most calming things I've ever had. Like I know, and I and fucking on a for real note, ladies and gentlemen, everyone out there, listen. Like I've fucking been to my fair share, of goddamn shrinks, and one, in my opinion, most of them are useless. It's unfortunate. I mean, it really is because it's something that, in my opinion, is necessary in society as far as, you know, to have people like that. Um, But so many of them get into that because they have their own fucking mental issues and they really don't give a shit about you. You know, and that's the problem with psychiatry. So they're just trying to prescribe you pills. And in doing that can cause all kind of chemical reactions within you because they're not really studying the situation properly. Yeah, you know, um, that's just the way it is. That's why I think weed is such a great thing, man, because it's it's natural and fuck, man. I mean, look scientifically at how many positive things that has as far as for it. I mean, you can't. There's not another drug that is a Schedule One narcotic because there's quite a few, ladies and gentlemen, that you can say has the health benefits that marijuana does, which, again, is a name made up by the government in about the, I think, 60s to 70s. It's a goddamn cannabis plant. It's not marijuana. I don't know. Fuck the government for making that name up. It's cannabis. That's what it is. Yeah. I'm an activist, if you guys didn't notice. (laughs) You're an activist. Hell yeah. No, dude, I'm full, for real. I am for complete legal uh, legal fucking like to the point where it's uh like alcohol ostensibly that's how weed should be handled it should be handled exactly like alcohol there's no reason and alcohol even like if you look at it man think about even if you get back into the music industry because we've gotten way the fuck away from it 
Like in the music industry, what do you think causes more problems? Motherfuckers sitting around smoking a blunt or a bunch of motherfuckers sitting around there sharing a bottle? I don't know. It depends on your environment. Right, well, but do you, have you ever seen a bunch of motherfuckers passing a blunt around? And it caused a fucking fight. Yeah, because motherfuckers don't put so fast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, out of rotation, anything. <laughs> no, you know what? To be honest, though, you know, on a straight narrow on that question, like, and it, it, it even go for alcohol. It depends on the person that you are, 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 are sharing with, are you dealing with? You know, if, if you put yourself with some people who are, who are always, you know. Trouble making that nigga hurt. Who niggas that just want to be tough all the time? Under the gun, you know that's just, that's just that all goes back to the the company you keep. It don't matter if you're sharing a bottle or a blunt. It's somewhere somewhere in there, if you got trouble, motherfuckers, they're gonna call trouble no matter what. It may not be at that moment, but maybe some some moment down the road, or a day or so, or whatever. You know, on a normal basis, it's just, it all go that all comes back to the company you keep. You know, really, you know. And you think about it, and then you know, and then you think about this. They're not gonna. Why do you think they're not gonna legalize marijuana in every state in America? I give you the damn good reason why. Because marijuana takes away from prescription drugs. How much money well, do you think they make off prescription drugs? Fuck big pharma is my only opinion on that. Big pharma is one of the largest problems in this country, besides yeah, like I the fucking police see. force. But but you know what? Why do you think that they're not going to legalize marijuana? Because marijuana cures a lot of lot of diseases <laughs> and stuff. It's, it's it's actually it actually helps with with, with with sickness. Why do you think they're not going to legalize it everywhere? Because they know that it helps with it helps with pain sometimes more than your medicine. And if they're not getting the money off that medicine, you know how much money is lost. You don't think they don't see that marijuana can be good and can, can, can work in a good way? Oh yeah, man. No, that's like uh, when it was initially legalized, which I believe was any of the fifty or sixties. Don't quote me. It's but it was one or the other, ladies and gentlemen. Was when marijuana was officially legalized and uh, marked as a Schedule One narcotic. It was either in the fifties or the sixties. One of the big people that was really, really uh, advocating for it being marked as a Schedule One narcotic was the uh, fucking cotton industry because of hemp. Mm -hmm. Like they were like, we don't want to get replaced. Because it's a better fiber, it lasts longer. I mean, it's just and like look at even that. You're like, I'm not even talking about fucking smoking or drugs or anything like that. I'm talking about some shit you can make paper and clothes out of. And the cotton industry was like, "Fuck you, go away, make that shit illegal." Mm hmm. There's too much money everywhere else that marijuana will cut short. That's why they're not going to legalize it fully. That's why even like right now, even with dispensaries and stuff, where they got it partly legal in places that they still raid them and, and shut them down, you still on a federal level. The federal is not going to do that. You know why? Because the politicians are all in the bed with the pharmaceutical companies. Yeah. That's about a billion dollar industry, a couple of billion dollar industry. You think they're going to let that be cut out with the with the with the, with the, with the replacement of marijuana? You know, they think going to figure out how to go in and tax it and do this and do that to it. They're not going to do that. It's going to cut out a couple of billion dollars over here. They're but not going to do that. Let me flip this conversation all kinds of fucking ways real quick. Because you say exactly that the federal government is raiding the state-operated dispensaries, which is true. It's happened. Yeah. I think I think it's... Is it still happening, man? I thought they pretty much fucking let that shit go now. Or did no, Trump... it happened up here just a few weeks ago. Uh, Jesus Christ. It's, and again, that was because I'm pretty sure President Obama had pretty much cleared it and said that the federal government was not going to interfere with state law right. legislating as far as you know legalization of marijuana, whether it was medical or recreational. Which is right, because the Constitution says that the state is supposed to have more control than the federal government as far as in their particular area. Now, the problem I have with this is, so the federal government is supposed to be the system that helps us, right? If there is serious shit going down, right? Yeah. All right. So, I mean, let me just ask you, Poke. I'm curious to your position in this situation. So you see the federal government raiding these state-run dispensaries, which ain't fucking hurting nobody and are legally allowed in the state, right? 
but they're but they're accosting that shit. Yet you have the situation you do in you two gentlemen's hometown of Flint, where all that bullshit has come down, and the fucking federal government has not stepped their foot in. You're gonna tell me the federal government is out for the good of the people? Hell no, they ain't never been out for the good of the people. <laughs> right. We've been through that much. That, that was we knew that off top. We knew they would never <laughs> they would never out for the good of the people. Because if that's the case, there'd be a cure for cancer out, it'd be a cure for HIV, you know what I'm saying? It'd be a cure for herpes, it'd be a cure for uh, everything that they say is uncurable. You know why it's uncurable? Because they got the they got the cure for it. And you money, gotta have money, a lot money. of money. Money. money, 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 yeah. money, money. Yeah, that's what it is, man. For it's like that South Park episode, because uh, you know Magic Johnson apparently doesn't show up with a trace of fucking the HIV virus anymore. How the fuck is that? Right. Like, for real. I, I want to know. Like, it's it's because you're right, Nitty. That motherfucker had a shitload of money. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I just that's the thing that and, I, and then again let's flip this back to the music shit because I think that's another problem in the music industry as far as because we go and compare it to like little yachty and shit and that's just a situation of motherfuckers want money and I, I think that's like mm. the main problem man I was actually having a talk with uh, Race Excess Cash and the Super Smash Bros a little bit earlier and it was essentially the fact that you know everybody focuses on just money so many people yeah. have lost the concept of of I mean life. You know, it's like no, I need money. You no, know, dude, you really don't. You just need to fucking make sure you can live. And but nobody wants to fucking do that. Everybody wants to shit in everybody else's britches. Um, like I'm sure I'm amazed little Yachty ain't called in and screamed at us at some point. To be real honest, as much as I've shit on that fucker's name. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Doing music, you gotta make money, you know what I'm saying, to survive and, you know, being able to keep making music, making making records. I mean, I get that. You know? <laughs> but it's like, there's there's limits, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like fucking just some of the shit I've seen. And I mean, it's more mainstream than anything. Like, I'd hate to, like, you look at Little Yachty specifically. Think about how much money this motherfucker is getting paid to write, yeah over and over and over again dress in women's fucking clothes because I'm sorry that's women's fuck clothing um and and just be an idiot right and th- and they're paying him to do that and I'm sorry if you look at that situation like that it goes I mean you say all these things haven't been released because fuck us they don't want them to be but at the same time I'm like are they not trying to dumb us down by giving the shittiest rapper you can find the dopest beat you can find so motherfuckers actually listen to his stupidity. Mm-hmm. I have a problem. I have a, I have a fucking problem with that. I'm sorry. I've been on too much conspiracy shit too lately, so it might be that I need to put my full hat on, gentlemen. I'm not going to lie. Um, but, but for real, because I hear this and I, I fucking... I see these MCs that frankly have no kind of lyricism and and they're given these beats that are exceptional like that I think like if you gave that beat to any of the hosts over here at NFGR or a, a number of other people in the number underground that I'm not even going to start to name because I don't have time for a list that long the track would be a thousand times better I, I feel like, dude, I feel like the federal government is trying to make idiots out of this at this point. I mean, that's what the federal government's going to do. The federal government doesn't care about nothing but making money for their ass. They're not going to give a damn about it at the bottom. That's, that's the thing what people don't understand. They, they think, oh, these mothers do this, do that. Man, they can, I don't care what kind of regulations the federal government passes. That's not going to stop me from getting wherever I need to be. Be honest with you. I don't care. They can cut everything they want. Some way. I'm going to make something happen. It won't make a difference. You see what I'm saying? So, the government, nigga, so the federal government is not out to make sure that, that MIDI or, or Factor or Polk is, is straight. You, you know, that, so we got to, we got to, we got to already just accept that and be like, okay, well, this is, this is what it is. You know, they're never going to do, I believe, what's better, what's best for the American people. They're always going to do what's best for them. Because they whole thing is, we keep them in, a, we keep them in the boat, and keep confusion amongst them. They never see us making millions, going to the bank, laughing all the way to the bank with 
everything. Why do you think when, when Trump put all these billionaires in office with him? They ain't had, ever had no experience. Yeah. But do you guess what? All, all the stuff is getting passed, all the little stuff is getting passed. All is going to line their pockets. Even with their little health care bill they try to get through there, they was going to line their pockets with more money. Everything that they invested in is all going to have, it's going to be where they're going to get lined up. Trump knows that and all of them just sitting in the back laughing while they're getting paid. Trump's out there talking shit and ain't nothing we can do about it. Well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I all gotta ask, written. you know, I gotta ask you because I'm pretty sure, Nitty, I know you know more about this situation than I do. And I feel like I need to be a bit more informed. But I mean, you're talking about this and essentially the government is trying to cause separation. Would somebody inform me probably what the fuck happened in North Carolina with Nazis apparently? What in the shit? In, in, in North Carolina. Wasn't in North Carolina? I might have the location wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, Virginia, I don't fucking know. There were Nazis apparently marching in this goddamn country. And what the shit? Um, man, it's, I don't know, man. It's, we, uh, well, hold on, man. We just, we, just, we just live in a strange time, man. I mm -hmm. mean, it's a strange, strange time, man. Right now, you're like, I believe right now we're more on the cusp of 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 of, of being a broken country, and more divided than I think we ever have in, in my time of living. You know, ever since way back when, you know, they, you know, and they're trying to uh, they're trying to divide us racially. You know, which, you know, which could which could work with a lot of them, a lot of, with a lot of more racist people. But then, you know. But some people with sense and says this doesn't make sense, and I'm not going to hate this man over here because of his color. Well, I'm not going to hate this man over here no matter what what color you know you are. It's just they're trying their best to because that's their best weapon against the American people, so they can run their stuff right up under our nose without us paying attention. You see what I'm uh, saying? It doesn't. Oh yeah, no, dude. I'll tell you my problem with this is do people understand? like what the nazis actually stood against like they would kill a lot more than just like like do you not realize the amount of genocide that if if someone truly was behind the true nazi doctrine like i'm pretty sure i'd get killed to be real fucking honest if they looked into my background you know what i'm saying they'd be like nah nah fuck you man you irish what Boom! And my fucking head's gonna get blown off. You know? Like, do people don't understand the fact that we're such a melt? Like, half of them motherfuckers that are Nazis would probably get shot by Hitler if you reviewed them properly. Are they fucking stupid? Right. But, you know, they, you know, these, these mothers, they, they don't do a lot of homework. They go out, they grab the thing because they, 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 they working off, off just adrenaline. You know, we're, we want to be the, the, the whitest, uh, baddest, they move. They they they're trying to say that they're they're moving off for for uh I don't, I don't know. They just say you know white power. They think they're losing their way in the world as far as you know not minorities catching up and this or that. I mean I mean it's me if I'm running if I'm in the country I'm saying I won't I want the rest of the world to keep up because no matter what if, if you and I don't care we all in this country together. This country doesn't get better unless every individual gets better. Ain't no team better, ain't no team greater than this weakest link. So, from the uh, from the little hole down in Idaho or Wyoming or wherever, all the way up to the White House, you know, to the billionaires in the White House, it doesn't make a difference if that man at the bottom is still scuffling. And still, this is this is America. This is supposed to be the best country in the, in, in the world. There shouldn't be nobody scuffling like like some people do. You know what I'm saying? And you have to ask your question, why? How do we, how do we, how did this happen? How does, how does people were killed innocently in the streets? How is people dying from cancer when they have somebody they have no cures? Why is, why is all this happening? We have the, the, the best country in the world with answers to everything medically. And science is, man, they have breakthroughs that's been crazy. And you have to ask yourself, why does this happen? It's casualties of war, man. His life is a war. You got one guarantee. That you only got one guarantee in life, and that's death. Eh, and nothing that's in between true. that guarantee. Nothing. You're not guaranteed to be rich. Not you no know, this or that. Nothing. The only guarantee you got in life is death. That's it. 
And that's why, as far as we done came medically and you know scientifically and everything else, you gonna you are gonna sit and tell me a lot of this stuff, and we got a lot of war veterans coming home, homeless. These are the people that put that you put down to fight for this country, and they're homeless. They're hungry. Where's the loyalty? Well, not only that too. Like, why in the fuck are you gonna train someone to kill people? Like. That's what you train them to do, and then you send them home homeless. You really think that's a fucking good idea? You're gonna fucking put the dude on the street that you train to kill people, and you're just gonna put him out on the fucking street? Are you a moron? The fuck is wrong with you? You know, and, and you know, and that, 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 you know, one thing I think that that occurred with a lot of that because I believe sometimes they come home and they're they're just it's hard to adjust back to normal life. You know what I'm saying? I think oh, yeah. we need a, uh, I think I think. Uh, we need a, uh, a lot more, um, uh, a, lot, a lot more programs on a daily basis where they can come with people like them and talk. And you know, I know it's some out there. I think it's Wounded Warrior, um, and it's, it's, it's a few more that's out there that we need to look into actually, so we can put up on pages. You know what I'm saying? Where actually they can be a, 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 you know, a part of people who, 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 had, who went through the same thing you know they come home and they some of them is rattled and it's like you know and they need help and I think I think that the government kind of is, is, is leaving them they're leaving them out in the cold you know and you know we can we can look at it any way we want to but you know at the end of the day you know these people went and fought, fought in the war so you know I think I think they should have more programs uh, with more people like them so they can adjust to be adjust to this life, back to this life, and then, you know, and it should be, uh, they should actually have a fund in place for them. You know, spots in place for them. Where, where they with the same, same, same kind of people that, they, that they was, uh, you know, in battles with. Where they, they, they should have, they should have a lot more things in place for them, man. It, it, you know, it's, uh, it's a sad case sometimes. You gotta look at it, man. You see, you know, people who are who are wasted their life, you know, risk their life was over there. Yeah, but, you know, mean, at the end of the day, yeah. you gotta, you gotta, you, know, you gotta look at it and say, you know, this is some of the flaws of America. We can sit around and boast the baddest to the, you know, best country in the world, but you know, we have our flaws, and that's and that's and that's where that that comes in, at, man. And, you know, and and it, it just takes a little bit of time for people to uh, if, they, if they were to address this sometimes. Instead of, you know, putting under the rug, it would be a lot easier for us to deal with. But they're not going to. I don't know why, but they're not. Uh, you know, man, and, no, I, I mean, it's because of what you just said, Nitty. And hey, real quick, we lost Poke. He's still trying to get in, ladies and gentlemen, as far as to get back into the fuck call. I apologize for that. Hopefully he can. I'm going to shoot Google Hangouts. That's a different point. But no, it's based on what you just said, man. It's easier for them not to worry about the problem than to set up all those things and deal with it properly. It's easier for them to play a counter... Like, when a, when a soldier snaps, because that occasionally happens, ladies and gentlemen, as sad as it is, sometimes, you know, yeah. somebody gets back from war and they can't adjust back to normal society, which is understandable because fucking, I mean, you're in a fucking war zone shooting at people, watching your fucking, you know, the dude behind, beside you maybe get his head blown off. That's that's not a horror film. That's fucking real life, and it's going to affect you mentally. So to not have a program to get those guys in, yeah, if you just disregard them, some of them are going to fuck snap, like, in a bad way. And, and it's easier for them, though, to deal with that after the fact as far as oh you know this happened for blah 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 as opposed for them to dump all the money to make sure that doesn't happen it's cheaper is what it is man it's fucking money I mean it's terrible but that's what the fuck it is yeah, every time we done, we, done had a, we, done, we done had a discussion it always done came back to the money everything we had talked about all came back to the money I mean you know, and, and I mean, if, it, if, it, if, it, if, it, if they, you know, they always scream about how much they, they love American soldiers' lives and, you know, this being a great country and all this and that. If that's the case, then why do you don't take time to take care of your own? You know what's the problem? Everybody's so inclined to want to take care of They send million dollars everywhere else. Ah, but look. But you're so inclined to take care of your own. It doesn't make sense. Poke got back in the house. That's what's up. What's up, Poke? Yeah, we just, real quick, to cover what we've been talking about, we just, uh, since we've been talking about the fact that the 
uh, guys who come back from war, there's not the proper setup as far as so they can get the proper mental health treatment. And it's just, in my opinion, like I said, it's easier for them to pay for something after the fact. For when one of those guys snaps, it's easier for them to cover the collateral damage for that than it is for them to cover all the mental health payment that you would have for everyone that returned to service. So they're just ostensibly doing it like that. And like I just told you, yeah, it's, it's money and everything. And Nitty, you're right, man. It all, it all comes back to money. And... Yeah. I, I don't know, that's Pope. That's what, one. Uh, what do you think, Pope? How do we make it? Let me ask you a real difficult question. And, Pope, if you can answer it, fucking kudos, because I can't. Uh, how do we make it to where it's not just all about money? Hey, that's what, that, that's what this world revolves around, man. Money. Well, how do you fucking fix that? Hey. Cause it's fucking the world up, dude. We're all gonna die in a hundred years. Like, look, if we continue on the path that we are on, I'll be real honest. If this species lasts another two hundred years, I'm fucking amazed. We just need to give everybody some money, don't you? Know? But you can do. It's, a common sense, it's a common sense way to deal with it. But they're not gonna do that. Wait, uh, yeah, you do, don't make you money. Just, wait, don't Nitty, benefit them. Nitty, before you go any further, how the fuck are you gonna ask for common sense from the government? <laughs> Yeah. That's why you what I just said. It's common sense to figure it out. But they're not. They're <laughs> always gonna figure out how they can maximize the dollar bill. That's it. I uh, there's, uh-huh. there's just gotta be I, I don't know, man, and I think like it it fucking terrifies me really because I look at it and I'm like the only way for that to change is for the entire system to change the only way for the entire system to change is a fucking revolution and the only way for the there to be a revolution is well ladies and gentlemen there's going to be a lot of bloodshed a lot of death and a lot of terrible terrible things in this country you know so I mean it's fun and it goes back to what Sin Tzu said from the art of war I mean if you want peace prepare for war you know, because that's what you have to have to achieve peace. Is you have to be fully ready for war. And I think this country has done that for a long period of time. Just been fully ready to bomb the fuck out of whoever. And that's why, for the largest percentage, it's been like there's not been another world war, really. Because we're ready to bomb the fuck out of somebody when it starts. That's just the truth of it. Um, but it's getting to a point where people are looking at it and going, you know, I'm not so afraid anymore because I don't think you're going to drop one of those nukes because of the political and uh, just global fucking backlash it would have. If we drop, like, because we drop the nuke nowadays, gentlemen, that is a whole nother fucking story. We are probably going to get bombed to the fucking Stone Age if we dropped a nuke on anyone just because. They'd be like, you dropped the nuke? Oh, when well, I were fucking bombing you out of existence. But what do you do? How do you fix that shit? I mean, you got everything from like Post said to the fucking everybody in the music industry wanting to bite each other's fucking heads off. You got the government wanting to bite each other's fucking heads off. God knows the dude that owns the local fucking donut shop wants to bomb Dunkin' Donuts. Like, what the fuck, gentlemen? Yeah. Yeah, I just, I mean, like, like, you know, we, we can sit here and go on a million ways to and figure out things and some things are, have very simple answers uh, but you know all you do is you gotta follow if you follow the money then you know that's that's where you're gonna find, it, find the issue just follow the money all the money trails tell everything it tells you all how corrupt you know the systems is and you know how corrupt not only that not only cops not only you know politicians you know you follow the money you're gonna find corruptness and that's all over because the greed level is, is, is there, you know, and you know, and, and it's not enough honest people to blow enough whistles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're not going to blow enough whistles to say, yeah. "Hey, this is my man." They trying to, you know, they they, they protect their. Well, fuck, Nitty. Look at half the people that supposedly blow whistles. I mean, you can't even confirm it one way or another because you hear rumors about. You know, somebody's gonna blow a whistle on somebody. Suddenly, they're fucking dead. Mm. You know, that's like um, that the dude from Lincoln Park who recently hung himself. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know his fucking name. Um, and then the guy that hung himself like 
three months earlier, I think it was, they there were rumors that they were going to release uh, information about a fucking big ass ring of pedophiles in Hollywood and the like the entertainment industry where they got this fucking island and they go off and they do terrible shit and this and that. That information was released. Wait. Suddenly they find both these motherfuckers in their goddamn closet. You know? I knew that was going to happen. Well, then, it, I mean, if we're in a world. <clears throat> where the second you say you're gonna try and do some good, you die. Then what the fuck are we supposed to do? Gotta move um, right. I did. Look, look, real quick, Nitty Poke. I just want to point out, I got past my suicidal stage when I was 16 fucking years old. I'm nothing more than homicidal nowadays, all right? So if you ever hear that Factor fucking killed himself, yo, I was murdered, I promise. What? Like, I was. I, I got over that shit a long time ago. So the, the unknown Factor commits suicide. No, no, the unknown Factor was fucking murdered because he didn't give a shit and would just fucking talk about whatever the fuck he wanted on NFGR. That's pretty much the truth of it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <sighs> Who knew my radio was... Crazy world, man. Oh, uh, dude, I mean... I, I just... I don't know. There's so many things about it that I don't get. Like I said, I mean, fuck. I'll tell you... Uh, I'll tell you one of the most baffling images I've seen recently, though, was... And I don't know if this was photoshopped or not. If it wasn't, this would be a really weird-ass situation to come across. But it was a black guy with a rebel flag and a white guy holding the Black Lives Matter sign, and they were just staring at one another. Yeah, I've seen that. I don't know. If that, I think that might have been Photoshop. Yeah, right see, exactly. I don't know if that was real or not. But if it was, that would be a situation where I came across that I'd just be like, I'd just have to look at it and be like, you know what? No, I'm fucking good. I'm going this way. <laughs> I mean, it might, you know what? It might have been. It might have been true. The pictures might have been real. The pictures might have been real, but they probably photoshopped them to make them look like they were staring at, at each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that. Because I, I think I've seen the black dude uh, with. Uh, that. Yeah, so, Hope, I know the image you're talking about. Yeah, no. Now that you say something, yeah, that dude was lifted from a different image. Yeah. 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 No. Huh. All right, so again, look, so now you just got pricks putting shit together trying to cause more fucking controversy. So not only do you have the real-life photos you have to worry about, but motherfuckers will take Photoshop and make some shit up, and God damn it, it looks real, especially if you're, like, like a serious graphic designer. That shit will just look real, and you can't even fucking determine if it is or not. So you're creating more fucking propaganda via that. I'm sick of this propaganda bullshit. <sighs> So, I got a question though about I don't know if you, you probably gonna, you ain't gonna be there, but finds me, uh, me and you gonna be there at, uh, at the march where the Juggalo march where it's gonna be uh, the Trump supporters. Oh my God! Uh, supposed to be there the same day, and uh, not the Nazi I've I've seen that. Government. Yeah, they I've seen uh, events for that shit. Poke. It's like. Uh, battle Roy or fight to the death and shit and they're like people are making little mock flyers for it talking about juggalos versus Nazis special guest referee the police <laughs> alright I mean it's it just crazy it's all going down on the same day now wait what? I so so I mean I heard they were Trump supporters are is there really a Nazism group in there like what the fuck they mean, I don't. I really carry the Nazi flag, not really knowing what, what it, what's actually the hate that's behind it. <clears throat> and I think it's just getting all mixed. It's all mixed. It's, it's just a hate group that wants to, the shows. I guess they want to show the, their whiteness. And I think them flags, these flags are, what, you know, what have been symbols of, of, of white power or what have you. Down, you know, and I believe that's what they're doing. You know. You know, and I, I real quick, I want to point out that originally, you know, the swastika, the thing that Hitler is known for, was a symbol of peace and unity and togetherness. Like, before it was associated with Nazism and it was used within that. This is pre-World War II is what I'm talking about as far as what the swastika is for. Now, in good taste, I don't think you should ever fucking use that symbol unless you're a fucking moron, right? Because Jesus Christ, that's a huge part of human history. And I mean, for real, the motherfucker was trying to commit genocide upon a 
a number of people, not even just one race, but several, from Jewish to black to, and like, he didn't give a fuck, man, he's like, oh, you're not blonde and blue-eyed, fuck you, Pfft. even though he wasn't, which is another really weird story, I don't get why he got away with, like, having brown eyes and brown and fucking black hair, like, shouldn't you have shot yourself, Hitler? Just say, you know, right? But yeah, so I don't get that, man. Like people look at that nowadays and take it towards that. Like I seen a thing recently. Uh, some shirt company was like, "We're gonna take the swastika back," and they were like printing it with fucking rainbow patterns and love and peace. And I'm like, "You fucking retarded!" Like it's a swastika. Uh, hello, Nitty. Hello, there, man. I can hear you. Can't hear you, man. Can't hear you. I can hear you, man. He pressed a button that he shouldn't have pressed, folks. You know that? I guarantee that's what happened. Nitty. Yeah. Nitty, you hear us? Oh, yeah. now, I can't determine if he can hear us or not, Poke. How about you? Huh? Can you hear me, Nitty? Nitty? Poke? Horseshit? Bullshit. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what the fuck that is, but that shit fucked up. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is no goddamn bullshit. I shit you not. Yeah, that's what's up. And this... Ladies and gentlemen, if I can get to it quick enough, let's see. It's no BS, yeah, by Project Born, featuring smallest one. Be right back. We don't want no, 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 we don't want no bullshit around us, no bullshit around us, no bullshit around us, no bullshit around us. Miss me with y'all bullshit, take y'all about ten back. Yeah, I'm talking steps, cause I know you ain't got ten racks. Thirty reasons to believe if I pull them out, I'm riding for the foe. Fuck shit is fuck shit, so pussy niggas leave it at the door, cause I don't need that round me. No, to be hollow points, not brownies. In the jacks they found me with two bags of coke and some doubt That means I'm on my way to clean the money up This rap shit makes it look good Haters talk to investigators, ain't no talking down in this hood River Park is what made us, we hustlers don't play us Cause if I have to call babies, here come banging like Anthony Davis And there's no room for error We about to bring terror On fake needs to come nearer Getting their shit right like Pantera Small one and PJB is all good, so cop that This is always bitchin' and ain't no good, so stop that This small one and PJB is all good, so cop that This is always bitchin' and ain't no good, so stop that Cause We don't want no, 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 we don't want no bullshit around us. Now what you say around Now what you say around Now what you say around us. We don't want no, 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 we don't want no we don't want no, we don't want no bullshit around Now what you say? 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 Now what it's PJB and LSP, we underground and we never die It's fully automatic when the warm ride Flip that switch and y'all all die They go loco for that cocoa Then it goes down on morning side It's Project Boy, we go insane Like D-A-R-K, man Half your niggas don't know shit It's the born bitch cock back bang Cause we don't want no, 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 we don't want no Now what you say? 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 Now what no, we don't want 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 no bullshit around. Now what you say? 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 It's raining and it's pouring. All that bullshit can't ignore. Let's not jump inside my car. Aim it at you, then I pour. Rush it, born and got that heat to leave you in a cloud of smoke. Rest in pieces, what they said when you hit the ground and fuck it. Cause I said it once, they said it twice. Guarantee you didn't listen. We don't want that bullshit, cut your tongue like circumcision. Lay them all out and start collecting. 
acting Turn to a horse flick, what's the next scene? Your favorite rapper laying on the ground, clutchy All they can do is make sounds like a sex scene It's gotta be hard to talk all that shit without a tongue white I predict that you're the type to bring a knife into a gunfight I'll sit in silence and let you provoke the first move Once we start the violence, you drop when you hit a first move we don't want no, 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 we up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. Ah, shit. These goddamn aliens are trying to eat my broadcast again. So as they say in Canada... Tune in to Aliens Ate My Broadcast every third Tuesday. I mean, there must be some way. But fuck it. <laughs> yeah, we don't give a shit. We're fucked. Shut up. Doom, dude, shut, shut up. We just might get into some crazy shit. Conspiracy theory. Anarchist. Fucking Antichrist. We better think of something. Yeah, that'd be even better. We better think of a way. Your host, Mr. DKB, and myself, the unknown factor. You're both pieces of shit. Yeah, I can prove it mathematically. Try and catch Nessie with us. Fuck, we might even find Bigfoot or some shit. Does evil exist? Exist, and if so, can one detect and measure it? Um, rhetorical question, Morty. This is going off on rants. I love it. The answer is yes, you just have to be a genius. Numbers, man, it's all about fucking numbers. Everything adds up. Right here. I'm no fucks given radio. God damn it, stop eating my broadcast. Peace out. Now I'm mastermind, you know they like 
how I do my thing, let's Fuck go. the mainstream, all I hear Every day is the same thing Over and over So no need to play me You couldn't even pay me a dime That's why I'm staying high I'm underground for life Fuck the mainstream, all I hear Every day is the same thing Over and over So no need to play me You couldn't even pay me a dime That's why I'm staying high I'm underground for Underground for life, fuck the mainstream Middle fingers up, even if you hate me Same B, just a different day Loading lyric, kill bullets, and we grip and spray Hit the J, staring at the side mirror In outer space, touching on some light years A bright year, we spitting with the mastermind Midwest flow, turned into a classic rhyme Stacking time, selling all these CDs, fuck a record deal, they can go and see these, keep it greasy, hustle while they sleepy, shoot a video, pull them out the TV, wanna be me but one of a kind, brace of excess cash on a hell of a ride, gel till we die, keep it 100, blow it all up like we keep it combustion. The mainstream, all I hear Every day is the same thing Over and over So no need to play me You couldn't even pay me a dime That's why I'm staying high I'm underground for life Fuck the mainstream, all I hear Every day is the same thing Over and over So no need to play me You couldn't even pay me a dime That's why I'm staying high I'm underground for life Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's right, we're back. No fucks given radio, look at that. Nitty's got perfect fucking timing. Nitty, you got perfect timing. Yeah. He's like, I ain't even paying attention, Factor. Whatever, what? <laughs> <laughs> huh? I don't know. What the world? I don't know what the hell happened, dude. We were talking when you were talking to the- what happened, Nitty, is uh, I need to spend more money on this radio on a monthly basis. That's pretty much what it boils down to, ladies and gentlemen out there. For real, that's that's what the fuck it is. It's, you know, monthly service fees, and you got to add another one for this shit to be better and that shit to be better. But that's what the fuck we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, because this is right. No Fucks Given Radio. And this is the No Bullshit Zone. Yeah, man. If y'all been tuning in, we've been getting into some crazy deep shit. And, like, man, I swear, like... Between this show and Aliens Ate My Broadcast, I needed to, like, fucking Vicodin to make my head stop hurting. (laughs) Like, seriously, guys, because it's like the real world bullshit, you know, of how fucked we are and how stupid we are as a species. Because, look, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, as a collective, (laughs) we're kind of moronic, right? And and then fucking, you know, Aliens Ate My Broadcast, we're going over this conspiracy shit. And I'm like, right. some of this shit has to be true, because, but not all of it can be true, but not all of it cannot be true. And between that and this shit, ladies and gentlemen, there's just way too much motherfucking bullshit on this planet, and we need to fucking sift through it and get rid of it. Holy shit! I'm and I, to, think, uh, I haven't, I haven't hmm? checked out uh, one of the aliens in my broadcast. When is it on again, man? Uh, you know, let me see the first Tuesday of every or no second Tuesday of every month sorry second Tuesday of every next, month next week. yeah it is Aliens oh. and my broadcast yeah I gotta fucking what the hell say I know last month we went over the moon and just all the fucking <laughs> can, yeah. no dude look I'm serious you guys want to go down a fucking crazy ass rabbit hole type in conspiracy theories of the moon and I'm not even talking about just the fact of whether we went to it or not guys I'm talking about the fact of it's hollow it's it's a hologram. It's only 70 miles wide. There's aliens up there. There's Nazis up there. Yes, I said there are Nazis on the moon. There are people that believe there are Nazis on the moon, as well as Nazis in Antarctica. 
Don't fucking ask me why. Uh, there's, so yeah, there's aliens up there. There's all kinds of movement up there. There's secret bases on the moon. Fuck it. it, it oh my god. The fucking theories that there are out there on the moon. I, 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 it, I don't even know how to get into all of it. It's really, I mean, really, but that's the problem with this world. Generally, that's why fucking we run the shows over here we do at No Fucks Given Radio. Because technically, you can look at pretty much anything in this world, and it's really hard to take it for what it is, because it's probably not what it is. You know what I'm saying? So that's all the topics y'all be t- uh, touching on on um, Alien Today, my broadcast. Oh, I gotta talk to DKB. We still need to come up with a topic for this week's show. And actually, man, I think I I fucked up. I fucked up, man. That's the third Tuesday of every month. My bad. Because the yeah, too many shows. I can't I can't keep track of all of them. That's why I fucking yeah, have this shit on, written man. down. I got, that's why I gotta have it written down six goddamn places, man. I can't even tell you. We're about to have fucking some host change ups too, but I can't even talk about that. Shout out to Static G over there, Rob Secret LSP. That's a totally different story, though. This is the no bullshit zone with myself, Nitty, and Poke. And man, like, right before we got cut off so rudely, because Google's a cunt, um, <laughs> we were getting to the fact that money is, is technically the root of all things, um, as far as right. problems. So. Let me just ask you two. What do you think would happen if we just got rid of money? Mm, I don't know. Like, it was all barter system. Fuck your money. Let's trade. Well, then, then what, would, what would be the thing that we would pay for products? Like, whatever, dude. Like, I go to a fucking restaurant. Hey, man, I want to sit and eat. I'll fucking do your dishes for three hours. How they gonna get paid? Everybody back to doing dishes. Well, I mean, you gotta have somebody that cooks the shit too, and you gotta. It, it would all be barter systems, man. It would just depend upon your particular skill set, <laughs> what you could and could not barter. I'm not saying this wouldn't create madness and general chaos in a lot of places, yeah. but I mean, yeah. really, the removal of money. Oh, yeah, because the removal of money would create so much insanity, man. But I honestly think to a certain degree it would level the field. You know, because what the fuck does Donald Trump have to offer anyone if he don't have money anymore? He has to trade his gold. That's what he has to do. Once he's out of gold, do you have any skills you can trade? No? Well, that means you're the bottom of the barrel because it works the way it should work, which the ones that are skilled are the ones that work to the top because they're the ones that have the best benefit for us all. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't know, man. Hey, that's a hard one without money. I dude, it would be nuts, and it would, yeah. it would definitely be a culture shock. That yeah, would be fun to witness from an outside perspective. I don't know that I want to take part in it. <laughs> right. It'd be, it'd be chaotic. <laughs> Is there somewhere we can like do this to the world? And like, just watch it to see what happens, to see if I'm right or not. You know, I need mm-hmm. a com- I need a computer simulation of the entire planet as it is, and then just remove remove money. And we're gonna see if either the world fixes itself or if it gets destroyed. Because I really don't think there'll be a middle destroyed. ground. <laughs> destroyed. Show the faith you got in humanity and shit, poke. <laughs> Go, there you go. Yeah, we'd all be fucked. Yeah, that's probably right. That is probably right, man. Hey, this has been a dope ass show, though, gentlemen. We've gotten to several things, and we're definitely going to be back on a different level next time on the No Bullshit Zone, ladies and gentlemen. But before we cut out, Nitty, Poke, final thoughts? Yeah, what's up? Uh, yeah. Go ahead, Chris. Go ahead. I was just saying. <laughs> yeah, I Everybody, boycott the NFL, blackout. I love it. Hey, look, this this motherfucker. Look, Texas man. You run a People motherfucking. You run a motherfucking sports show on the radio, Nitty, and you're gonna be like blackout the NFL. That's just funny as shit to me. I don't give a fuck though, for real, because this is no fucks given. Like I said, like I told Joy, or like I told Big Will though, who's another host over there on Sports from the Porch, ladies and gentlemen. I was like, I joined you guys, but I've been blacking out the NFL for fucking ever. <laughs> ever, right? 
<laughs> we watched a goddamn football game for I don't fucking know how long. But for real, what's going on over there? Jesus, that's more fucking bullshit. I swear to Christ. But that's all it boils down to. And that, again, is one of them things that when it boils down to it, it's just fucking money, man. It ain't shit else causing that whole situation with Kaepernick. Yeah. What's up? <sighs> That's ridiculous. Right. Let me see. Let me see. Now, gentlemen, I've got to find a good song to go off on. Oh, oh, I know a good song. And though, well, I've, I, I should play one of my songs, but whatever. I'll play another one of y'all's songs, man. I played no bullshit <laughs> earlier featuring Smalls one for those of y'all that cop that shit. But right now, here, here's the thing that, in my opinion, we could, we could really help this world. All right? Is if all of us motherfuckers would just stop the arguing. You know, and start to break in some bread. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is Breaking Bread by Project Born. This has been the No Bullshit Zone on NFGR. Make sure you get at us, man. We got them shirts. Give me some money. I need some money. Them shirts is dope, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, clothe your back yep. and offend the fuck out of everyone. Have a good night, y'all. What's up, nigga? You heard, you heard about them Project Niggas, man? Man? Man, I heard the motherfuckers sign the cops. Man, when I see them motherfuckers, man, I'm a jack one of them niggas, man. Hey, hold on, man, nigga, shut the fuck up, man. Shut the nah, fuck up, nigga. We need to be man, trying fuck. to get down with them niggas. Nah, man, fuck that niggas, man. They you go, you that faking nigga in them. Right there, that's man. the nigga right there. Man, fuck that nigga, man. I don't want to split that nigga shit, man. Man, fuck nigga, that. let me get some of that motherfucking green, dog. Whole ass project, here, man. Whole ass project, niggas ain't nowhere. Hey, folks, what's up, baby? Man, fuck, man. Man, fuck this shit, man. Fuck. Lord knows why these project niggas hustle to get them. Lord knows we get this cheddar if we sticking together. We got to stay up on our toes, keep our families fed. Whether in jail or hell, nigga, we breaking bread. Hey, yo, I got to mix up the solution. A terrible way to live in slow motion. Try to jump back in the prostitution. I need a boosting, my mind loosened. To get a drilling rushing. Come back up in this bitch and start busting. Who the fuck I thought the boys were coming back? Put them in my own zone, crank up on project more from me that. Fuck what you sing, fuck what you heard I'm smoking herb on a daily basis Can't wait to see them busters' faces When we come down, the price is right But they weren't showing love So I had to get them haters twice to fight We tight tonight, my niggas say we cooking rice tonight Some getting shites tonight, might even call a vice tonight But I ain't tripping, see no fair songs And for you niggas out here talking to them bitches Bitches dead wrong I'm out here project for for life Ain't nothing funny like Rock him said Don't shit move but the money Lord knows why these project niggas hustle together Lord knows we get this chatter if we sticking together We got to stay up on our toes, keep our families fed Whether in jail or hell, nigga, we breaking bread Lord knows why these project niggas hustle together Lord knows we get this chatter if we sticking together We got to stay up on our toes, keep our families fed Whether in jail or hell, nigga, we breaking bread It's time to break it, nigga, give me my tickets and fool Don't you fake it, nigga, you got to strap on one pull I try to get like a bull, can't pull the wool over my eyes This project she y'all despise, this ghetto Gang, keep me wide, and you lies keep me optimistic. So I shake my head, see these wanna be wanna be. When I break my bread, probably dead before I see 30. It's what they predicted, but they got me twisted. Ain't looking to be part of statistics, rock it up and gifted. Cut it down, go get your cheddar, be a go getter. In a cold gang, no way your sweater, no one does it better. Struggle in, find you be bunky, get a hustle known. It's an impact like Jim Duncan, think I owe you something. Oh, really? You need to kill me, I just laugh. If you think I owe you something, then feel me. Do you feel me as I drop it on them? It's lights out, it goes out, we cop like every corner. Blow mics out, no one knows why these project niggas hustle together. No one knows we get this cheddar if we sticking together. We got to stay up on our toes, keep our families fed. Whether in jail or hell, nigga, we breaking bread. No one knows why these project niggas hustle together. No one knows we get this cheddar if we sticking together. We got to stay up on our toes, keep our families fed. Whether in jail or hell, nigga, we breaking bread. Let loose this pleasure pain, knock your bitch out. So fuck this game Motherfuckers try to hate But they could maintain What the project ain't Let me break it out I got no love for hoes So bitches come and get y'all some These stay ass project hoes Don't know where the fuck I'm coming from now Look up, gon' get them up And hit them up Like Machiavelli Little stone gon' stick them up And blow it up Like dude on belly I need some paper quick Gotta hit this lick Be 
Nico the New Year. Play you like basketball. My project dog gon' make this shit clear. That's how we roll. From Carpenter the road to Clio Road. Never knew I flowed till I came up fuck some badass hoes. Look, poke, you know me from the city where it's tight as hell. Niggas kill for mail. Rock them up and lay them on that scale. Nigga, would you tell if your homie rob and kill the man? Nigga, would you bail if your homie needs that help in hand? Oh, you's a sellout. Better bail out while you still breathing. Nigga, with that thing out, but when you did, what's up the clue? Who knows why these project niggas hustle together? Who knows we get this jetted if we sticking together? We got to stay up on our toes, keep our families fed. Whether in jail or hell, nigga, we breaking bread. Lord knows why these project niggas hustle together. Lord knows we get this jetted if we sticking together. We got to stay up on our toes, keep our families fed. Whether in jail or hell, nigga, we breaking bread.